This is the Excellent Sports Adventure. Well, after going one and three at home against those first place Orioles, the Jays managed a better result on their trip to Fenway. Much better indeed. A memorable night for Davis Schneider, a former 28th round draft pick, first major league at bat, sees what he can handle from Canadian lefty James Paxton, walloped way up and over the Green Monster. What a debut that was. Dalton Varsho also went deep, as did Whit Merrifield, Vlad Guerrero, and Matt Chapman. Plenty of pop on this night as the Jays go on a throttle of Bosox 7-3. Next game, Brandon Belt joins the fun. This belt for Belt is way up and over the Green Monster. His 10th big bop gets the Jays going. He added a clutch RBI single. Jays take that one 5-4. And why don't we make it a sweep? Yes, indeed. Remember that debut by uh, David Schneider? Well, game three was even better. A majestic blast off Chris Murphy going to sail right out of Fenway into the parking lot. A two-run rip. Schneider had four hits, drove in four on the day, nine hits, two homers in his first three games. That is a new Major League record as the Jays romp 13-1 to for the sweep. When you face a guy before, you kind of get a feel of what he's going to try to throw you. And I knew he had a good fastball. He likes to throw it. I was sitting fastball on my homer, but he ended up throwing a slider just middle, and I just swung and hit it. And definitely my family members that are, came here and all my friends and definitely the team that supported me. And... Every time they came into the dugout, they were all just clapping, being happy for me, and I just couldn't ask for anything more. Yeah, and they're glad to have you, too. And what a night for Kevin Biggio in Cleveland. Hit the go-ahead two-run homer and basically saved the game with his terrific unassisted double play on a Stephen Kwan grounder as the Jays topped the Guardians 3-1. to one. The top two teams in the West squared off in the CFL this week, Lions and Blue Bombers. This one was never in doubt. First quarter fans barely settled into their seats. Home side already up and Zach Colorado's great protection. He's going to put up a lovely ball for Kenny Lawler. Lawler's got himself a 57-yard touchdown and they keep it coming. Colorado's great play action fake. Has time. Finds Nick Dembski. What a night for Zach. 369 yards. Three TDs. Bombers blast lines 50-14. to Chad Kelly's Argos looking to stay perfect, but the Stampeders said, no, nope, that O must go. How's this for starters? Kelly sees the blitz coming, fires a dart over the middle for Cam Phillips on the fly. Phillips, 76-yard touchdown, but Kelly suffered an ankle injury, left the game in the second quarter. Cameron Dukes couldn't get anything going. And this hurts. Javon Leak, who is usually rock solid, back to take the punt, but can't squeeze it. Michael Griffin recovers in the end zone for Calgary for the touchdown. Stamps. Stop the Argos 20 to 7. They're 3 and 5. The Argos are now 6 and 1. Alouettes and Ticats scrapping for second spot in the East. Cody Fajardo, play action. He's got Regis Sevasu wide open. Sevasu takes it in for six as the Owls handle the Cats 27 14. Red Blacks and Rough Riders in a thriller. Riders by nine on the move. Look at this a fumble. Douglas Coleman scoops up the loose ball. He's going to take it the other way for six. Ottawa would take the lead, but with 30 ticks to go, Brett Lather, a 54 yard 54 yard field goal try. Pride of Truro, Nova Scotia makes it. Riders trip the RBs 26 24. Meadows Routage is back. The veteran Canadian has recovered from a two year hiatus due to a series of injuries. Playing at home in the National Bank Open for many, many years at Sobe Stadium in Toronto. Raonic had the serve working, pounding out 37 aces as he came from behind to bounce ninth-seeded American Francis Tiafo, 6-7-7-6 and 6-3. Vasek Pospisil lost his opener. Down to the final four in the Canadian Elite Basketball League playoffs. Scarborough shooting stars in Ottawa Blackjacks. Stars get the ball outside to Isaiah Mike, who knocks down the three ball. Here's Mike again. Banks it high off window. Mike led the way with 24. Scarborough roars back to win it 77 72. They're off to the semifinals, as are the Calgary Surge, who knock off Edmonton 84 68. A thrilling finish at the Halinka Gretzky Cup, men's under 18 championship. Seconds remaining in overtime. Malcolm Spence with the steal, neutral zone, moves in, waits till the goal Canada commits, and then he roofs it. A great goal. Canada knocks off the host Chechia side 3 2 to capture that gold medal, 24th time that the Canadians have won this event. Ontario, under nine lacrosse championships at Iroquois Park in Whitby. 
The host Warriors made it through to the quarterfinals with a win over the Gulf, Gulf Regals. Jake Shannon had an impressive series, an impressive game, an incredible season. A shout out as well to Wes Fox as the Warriors prevail. Now it's time for our shot of the week. Betty Phillips with her tee shot on 17. Sweet. God damn it. Four. Oh, that's good. Nice. That's a good looking ball. Right both you two on the green. <laughs> God damn it. Four. The shot of the week is brought to you by Sleepy Hollow Country Club. 60 years of tradition, providing a challenging and enjoyable golf experience just minutes from Toronto.